Now, sometimes when you hear people talk about learning to live with COVID, uh, what seems to be suggested is that one morning we'll wake up and not have to worry about it anymore and not have to do anything to try to contain and control it. That's not what I mean when I say learning to live with it. Instead, what we will have to ask ourselves is what adaptations to pre-pandemic life, uh, you know, face coverings, for example, it might be required in the longer term to enable us to live with it uh, with far fewer protective measures. And of course, we've already got far fewer protective measures in place than we did at the earlier stages of the pandemic. So, you know, we are in a position where we all want to get back to as much normality as possible. All of us, me included, really crave that. But we need to recognise that this virus, although we hope Omicron is milder than previous variants, this virus still takes lives and it still causes significant health impacts for people. So we've got to treat it seriously and not underestimate the damage that it can do.